guys, welcome back to my channel, Lux by Luminescence. I'm Anne Marie, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. Just a slight disclaimer I'm not a professional makeup artist, I'm just a girl playing around with makeup who has used a lot of makeup in her time the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the reviews are always honest, they're always real, and they're always a little bit sparkling, hence the name, Lux by Luminescence. So let's dive into today's review and tutorial, first impressions, whatever you want to call it. So I have been sent the Paint in Colour Eyeshadow Palette. This was really kindly gifted to me by Tanya from Get Glowing with Tanya. I'll leave her Facebook link below if you like the look of this. And this is from uh, Body Shop at Home. Uh, it's £15. And it says, Paint in Colour with our most pigmented palette ever. Uh, play it safe with natural mattes or go wild with rich, vibrant shimmers. It's easy to create a lasting look to suit your mood with 12 buildable, blendable shades from light to bright, all enriched with community trade marula oil. Okay, so apparently enriched with community trade marula oil from Namibia and it is vegan as well. Okay, so... Let's get into this. Sorry, I keep touching my face. There's a hair somewhere I don't seem to be able to get rid of. So let's do a couple of swatches to begin with. Now, I haven't even opened this yet, so I need to take the little plastic thing off. And those of you who have been here before, you know how successful I am with opening packages. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Right, there's one on that side. Is it just one? Yes, it's just one. Okay, so it's now in my mouth, that hair. Oh, it's so humid today. That's why my hair is up like an old frizzy. So, well, those of you in the US and other places, it's probably not that humid for you at all. But in the UK, it's humid. So, our top row is very much kind of neutral. You've got some beautiful shimmers on there. And I'm really, really hoping that those are not just oversprays. I just, this gold in particular is just stunning. They don't have uh, any shade names that I can see, but we'll just dive straight in and do a couple of swatches. So I haven't got anything, I've got no primer or anything on my hands or my arms, so we're just gonna do our normal swatches. So, they're really soft. First thing I'm noticing as I'm swatching them is they're not chalky, so that's really pretty. That one's probably quite buildable though, I don't know how pigmented it's going to be on a first uh, swatch. Oh, that bronze one. That's really pretty. So, got there, there. Oh, look at that. Look at how that picks up the light. That is stunning. That matte's quite nice as well. They're not chalky at all. Oh, wow. Okay, that is, that is beautiful. Right, let's get rid of the colours off there and we'll do the next four. Okay, so we've got kind of a chocolatey brown next. It's nice. Then a kind of, like a kind of plum colour. It's beautiful. Another kind of matte there. Another, okay. And then a kind of lighter one. So that one's beautiful. That's a really nice colour. The formula of these is really nice. It's going on really smoothly. That's stunning. Look at that one. That's really pretty. Wow, I'm really impressed with these so far. I mean, we all know that swatches on the arm don't necessarily... Uh, equate to what it looks like on the eye but so far so good I have to say right let's do the last four I'm gonna have to use my other arm for that so we've got this one kind of like a blue oh look at that metallic that is they've got a really really good texture that one's nice that's kind of like duochrome as well right okay so let's see how these brighter ones kind of pay off Got that one. That's pretty. 
that one, and then that one. So the mats, I mean, this first mat wasn't necessarily as pigmented as the other, but that will be because I went over the top of one. Ha! <laughs> just that. Uh, let me just do that brown again so you can see it, because I managed to go over the top of it. I don't know what I was doing there. Yeah, so the mats are not as pigmented. Um, straight away, I'm kind of looking at it and I'm thinking, I can make a really pretty look. This is quite a versatile palette in terms of uh, what kind of looks you can make in it. Now... I would say that this is the kind of palette that you would have in your kind of everyday makeup. You can do some really nice kind of looks in this and you could definitely smoke it up for the evenings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do kind of like a neutral look on one eye and then we're going to do something like a little bit more exciting on the other so we can really see what this palette can do. So <clears throat> I'm going to start off with... Yeah, I'm going to start off with this this kind of colour here and I'm going to use that in the crease. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to work that through the crease. I'm just getting a mirror. Okay. Before I even do that, eyeshadow primer. Before I start complaining that it's not sticking, let's give it its best uh, opportunity. So, sorry about that, body shop. Okay, if you guys are not using an eyeshadow primer, like, please do. Because, honestly, I used to think that this was like one of the biggest kind of dupes kind of about there, that they were just trying to get you to spend more money. But your eyeshadow will stay longer and it will be even more pigmented than you would expect. I mean, I absolutely, I swear by this one, this one is the Revolution Eye Primer, but there's lots out there on the market that you can use. But yeah, don't write a palette off until you've used an eyeshadow primer under it. And I know people say you can use concealer, but I wouldn't. Concealer doesn't seem to do the same really, especially when you've set it with powder again. Okay, so we are using chocolatey the kind of light brown and we're going into the crease with that so we're going for just a kind of natural transition just to create that nice neutral base one of the things that you want to do is you don't want to be pulling it you want to go round with the brush that's gone on really nicely and it's given a really nice kind of neutral base to work with. There is quite a lot of fallout in the pan. Some people really care about that. I really don't. But to be honest, the more pigmented your eyeshadow, the more fallout you're going to get. So I wouldn't worry about that too much, to be honest. Right, what am I going to put on the lid? Now, I am a big, big lover of the shimmers. So there's going to be a lot of shimmer here. But I think what we'll do is we'll start out with this brown colour, okay? And I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Now, to do that, I'm going to take uh, this kind of packing brush, okay? And what I'm going to do is rather than drag it, I'm going to tap it, okay? So you tap that on and you just pack that colour in. Because as soon as you start rubbing it around, you're going to take away the intensity from it. So, I'm just going to bring that into a wing. Okay, so that just gives that eye a little bit more definition. This is, this is super pigmented. I'm really impressed with uh, how that has gone on. I'm going to bring it round just to darken that crease. And again, I'm just patting it. I'm not patting it as hard here because I don't want as much pigment because I'm going to blend this out with that first transition colour. Okay, so I've got kind of like maybe like three quarters of my lid with that darker colour. I'm really blessed in the fact that I've got really, really big lids. Um, if you've got a hooded eye, what you want to do is you want to kind of bring it slightly further up here so people will be able to see it. So you would take it slightly further up the brow bone than I have with that. So then again, I'm going to take my 
little blending brush and I'm just going to start to blend that in with a little bit of the first colour on the brush and I'm going, I'm swirling it around. The trick for blending is not to drag, it's to swirl. You get right into that eye socket corner. Okay, you can't press too hard, don't worry. The brush won't let you. You're not gonna pop your eyeball out or anything like that. So we're just gonna bring that round and up. You're going right up here. You don't have to go that high if you don't want to. It's all kind of personal preference. Now, this has blended really beautifully, really beautifully. Those colours have just kind of naturally sat really well together. Okay, so it's quite smoky at the moment, but what I want to do is I want to get a bit of contrast in there. So there is this absolutely beautiful gold colour that I definitely want to get up on the lid. But before I do that, I'm just going to take a little bit of this lightest colour here. And I'm going to use that just for the top part of the eye, just to lighten that up slightly. Okay. Right, and then I'm going to take a slightly larger packing brush. Okay, let's see how this works. I might have to find my Harry Potter one. This is my new eco brush and I am going to take this kind of bronze colour and it's going to be here on the inner corner. Okay, so this bronze colour is going to go onto the inner corner and then it, again it's the same technique. I'm just patting it on. Now the first thing that I would say is although there's fallout in the pan, there isn't fallout on the face, which is the important part, because fallout on the face is just death. And then I'm just bringing it slightly up into the crease as well. I'm gonna blend that through again in a minute. It's a really nice formula. I'm very, very impressed with how smoothly it's going on. The other thing is it's going on with a brush. A lot of shimmers, you have to use your finger and I'm not a fan of that because I always end up with it down here. I'm just a bit cack handed when it comes to uh, using my finger. Okay, so do I want it? Yeah, I want it a bit more intense there. Just pat a bit more on. Brilliant. Okay. And then again, same blending brush, just going to diffuse that up. And then I want a little bit of contrast down the middle. You can see I've left a space. So I'm gonna go in with a smaller uh, packing brush again, the one that I used for the outer corner. And I'm going to take this really, really sparkly, shimmery gold and I'm going to give that that pop of colour down the middle, hopefully. Okay, and this one, I do want to drag a little bit more. So I'm patting it on, but then I'm smoothing it out because I'm going in a different direction. That is stunning. This is an incredible palette. I'm not just saying that. You can see the quality as it's going on is just so beautiful. It's blending so nicely. It really is. Now there's kind of two ways that you can go with this from this point. You can either darken this um, bit up and get a bit more definition. You could put a little bit more um, of the bronze in the inner corner, which I'm gonna do. I just wanna really have that pop there. Should we be brave? Should we try it with a finger as well? Should we see how it goes on with a finger? That's not much different, to be honest. No, I would stick with the brush. It's good to know. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that sparkly colour, a tiny bit. 
and just bring it over here as well just to give it that glow because we're at that time of year where we would like to glow okay okay and the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this little pencil brush i'm going to take that gold and i'm going to do an inner corner pop so just here i'm just going to put a bit of that gold in the corner just to lighten everything up okay it's not massively pigmented there doesn't need to be because otherwise it looks a bit strange okay so i've just got like a little bit of a shine there so when the light catches it it just lightens that whole thing up and again just run it over blend it out then i'm going to take a brush that looks like this Okay, and I'm going to go back into that dark brown colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that down onto the lower lash line just to give a bit of definition and smoke. Just makes that look a bit more cohesive. And also, if you're like me and you're a woman of a certain age, <laughs> then you might suffer from creasing with your... Uh, mascara not mascara sorry your concealer underneath your eye and if you do a smoky lower lash line then actually that will cover that you won't get as much of it I'm going to bring the bronze down as well just on the inner bit on that inner portion okay so that's this eye so that's one look. You might be thinking at the moment, oh, I don't know about that. Wait till the eyeliner and the mascara goes on and then you'll see it completely changes the whole look. Like so many times I do my eyeshadow and things and I think, oh, it's not going to work. And then you put your lashes and your eyeliner and your other bits on and it just comes together really prettily. So don't worry, you'll see. Okay, so that's this one. And now we are going to do a slightly different look on here because I want to try and use that blue and that dark red so it's going to be a bit different but let's just get rid of that right so we are going to go in with this larger packing brush I believe for this one and I'm going to start with slightly differently which shall I use as the transition colour this time mm, we want it more dramatic I'm going to start with the outer corner first and I'm going to decide what the transition colour is going to be from there. So let's go in with this kind of burgundy colour and we'll see where we end up. Okay, that's really pretty. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to do the same kind of technique. I'm going to start winging that out and bringing it round and up. Okay, this one, this one is a little patchier. Okay, a little bit. There's still a lot of pigment in there. When you're starting to blend it out, there's just a little bit of patchiness, but it's buildable, so I wouldn't worry about that because when you blend it through, that's going to come out. So just bring that to a point, okay? And then we are going to... Oh, why not? Let's just go full-on shimmer. Okay, so I'm actually going to do something a little bit brave i'm going to use this gray color here just a little bit and i'm going to use that in the crease so i just want to see how these dramatic colors kind of come together just having a play okay that blends really nicely so i want it slightly more intense there which is why i started there and then I'm kind of smoking it out 
as I go here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now to break up that harsh line is I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with this one down here, which is the slightly kind of more peachy uh, matte. And I'm just going to use that to blend out that harsh line. You see how that's blending already? Absolutely beautiful formula. This is so nice. I've never actually used Body Shop eyeshadows before. So when this was gifted to me, I was very excited to try it. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love the way that that's blended out. Okay, so you can see that this side is kind of like the brownier shimmery. This is your more intense side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with that blue and I'm going to take this brush, I believe, just slightly smaller than the other one. So I'm going in with the blue and I'm going to put that all over this corner here. Now, I don't think this is the right brush for it. I don't think it's dense enough. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Right, I want that a bit more intense. I want a smaller brush. Okay, so I'm going in with this Old Faithful. There is a bit of fallout on the lower lash line, but that's okay, because I'm going to use that colour anyway down on the lower lash line. beautiful that is such a nice blue it really is I mean that eye is stunning but this that blue do you know it's very very similar to the blue in the Pat McGrath mini palette subversive palette rather than a sublime palette and the price point clearly is 100% different because Pat McGrath is bougie as hell. Uh, right, let's go in with, let's try this one. Mm. No, actually, change my mind. Where's my lovely little brush? So this one again, and then I want a bit of shimmer on the upper brow. So I'm going in with that colour and I'm going to shimmer that through here. Just want a little bit. It's not as uh, shimmery as the two on the other side. Because actually I want the intensity on the eye rather than the brow bone here. I'm trying to focus on the shimmer. That's nice. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same technique down the middle of the eye and I am going to, I'm actually going to use the same, no, I'm going to use the bronze. Yeah, I'm going to take that bronze that we used in the other one because that would look really nice with this. Yeah, that's what I wanted, that real contrast in the three. That's so pretty. I'm actually in love with this bronze colour. It's so nice and it's like, it's like the colour of the summer, isn't it? Not that we're gonna get much of a summer when we can't go very many places, but I like that. I like that a lot. Right, I want a bit of this, though I do want some of this gold in Unicorn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go down onto the lower lash line with the dark 
kind of purpley color that we were using and we're going to use that here And then the blue here and actually I'm just going to go back in with my little packing brush because I want to deepen that purple up there I've lost it a little bit with the blending that's it it's better There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just go and put some eyeliner and mascara on and then I'll be back with my final thoughts of this palette. See you in a minute. Hi guys, so I'm back. This is the finished look with the mascara and the eyeliner. I haven't got any lashes on mainly because I don't really know how to apply lashes. It's one of the things I'm going to learn this summer, I've decided. But you can see that this is a really nice kind of like every day you could go out to the shops, you could go to work in that kind of look. This one is a bit more kind of like disco. This is like ready for dancing and, you know, do whatever you want. But you could make this much more kind of like every day if uh, you took the bronze all the way down, kind of like the blue. You could use the blue and the bronze or the red and the bronze. But I really like the way that they go together. But one of the things I want to say is the, the quality of this palette is phenomenal. The formula is beautiful. I'm really impressed because I only really think a body shop is doing kind of like fragrances and skincare and stuff, but this formula is fantastic. I want to show you this. This is the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Subversive Palette. Now, this costs £23, okay? £23. If I show you again the colour story in here, you can see that the blues are very similar that red is really similar and the gold this gold here is actually quite similar to the bronzy one and i have to say the look that i've created is almost identical to the one that i paid for this has got five colors for 23 pounds this is 15 pounds for 12 colors so this is for its price point, the quality is absolutely on point. I am so very impressed with this. Thank you so much, Tanya, for sending this to me. This is definitely going to be a staple in my collection. Now, the other thing that I bought from her at the same time was the Body Shop uh, Scarlet Sunrise Colour Crush Lipstick in Rouge Olivres. I'm really glad that somebody started, decided to start mowing their lawn or whatever they're doing whilst I'm doing this video. Sorry about that. So here we go. Let's have a look how this comes out. Uh, oh, that is stunning colour. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a kind of gold sheen to it that is stunning it's not sticky, not at all actually, and it feels really, really hydrating. You know some lipsticks you get, you wanna actually put a lip gloss over the top because it doesn't have the shine and um, it doesn't feel very hydrating. This is beautiful. All right, so that is the uh, Color Crush Lipstick 
Okay, so it's in Scarlet Sunrise. I don't know if that shade is still available, um, but they're in the sale at the moment and I think I paid £4 for it. So uh, get in touch with uh, Tanya if you are interested in one of those. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. It'd be great if you could join the family. I'm always reviewing different things from high end to low end to pound shop to dollar store makeup so please feel free to take a look at some of my other videos and I shall see you soon keep it sparkling bye